Okay, we're going to go over midpoints and medians of a triangle. Okay, so this is a triangle here. I'm going to go through a whole bunch of rules before we start talking about our midpoints and what a median of a triangle is. Okay, so I've drawn a triangle here. Can anyone tell me what the name of this triangle would be if we're naming it by its side of its length? What is it? Scaling. That's right, it's a scaling triangle. Okay, now what I've done to the best of my ability is I've drawn a line from what should be the two midpoints of these sides. Okay, so if this is the midpoint of this side of the triangle. What that means is the length of this is equal to the length of this. A midpoint, we talked about, will cut a line or a line segment in half. Okay? So this side and this are equal in length. With that being said, if this is the midpoint over here, what do we know about these two line segments? They're the same. Now, would I mark them as just a dash? Yes or no? no? Why not? Not parallel, but equal in length. And because it's scalene, they won't be equal in length. So I'm going to use two dashes, okay? And those two dashes let us know that these two sides are equal in length, and that this side and this side are equal in length. But they're not equal to each other, okay? They're not equal to each other. We do know that. Okay. So this information, they've cut this triangle in half. Now, now what we're going to be working with here is I also need to find out the height of this triangle. So let's say the height of a triangle has nothing to do with technically the side length. It could on certain triangles, but in a scalene triangle, the height of a triangle cuts straight downwards. Okay? So it goes straight down. This is the height of a triangle. This line at the midpoint what this does is it actually also cuts the height of the triangle in half. So in other words, the length of this height or this line segment is equal to the length of this line segment. I use three lines. Okay. So very important to know that if we're using lines, a line across two midpoints of a side, it's cutting the height and the sides all the same. Okay. So it's cutting them all in half here. Another rule along with this, I'm going to highlight this one, is that the length of the length of the line segment that connects the two midpoints is half of the length of the base. Okay? So I'm going to highlight this in green. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is if I call this length here L, that means the length of the base is 2L, okay? So this is half of the length of our base, okay? So anytime we can find the midpoints of two lines and connect them, the length of it is half of the base. It is also going to be, okay, we're going to be parallel to each other, okay? two midpoints. So these are parallel to each other, these lines. So there's a lot of rules we've just made up using the midpoints of lines. Now, another rule, I'm just going to quickly copy. Another rule I want to talk about here is the medium of a triangle. Now, the medium of a triangle has to do with finding a midpoint. Okay. In this case, we're going to find the midpoint of our base. So we're looking at the base. So this would be considered our base for our purposes right now. And we're going to estimate that it's maybe right here, this midpoint. Okay? Now, we already talked about the height. The height has to be perpendicular to the base. What does perpendicular mean? If I'm drawing a line like this, what is perpendicular, the height to the base? What relationship or what angle relationship is here at the bottom if it's perpendicular? Yeah, it forms a 90 degree angle, okay? A median is a line, we'll color it a little different. A median is a line that goes from the opposite point to the midpoint of the opposite line. So in other words, that's our base to the tip. The median is not the height, okay? In some cases, it can be the height. If I have an isosceles triangle, right? 
where these are two the same, the midpoint will be right in the middle, and the median will be the same to the height. But in our scalene example, you can tell that that's not always the case, because our median is not forming a right angle with the base. The height has to form a right angle with the base. So I'm going to give you a whole bunch of information. We're going to go through some examples using these rules. Hello. Okay. So here is our triangle. This is the information they've given us. They've drawn a triangle and they've given us some measurements. Okay. From A to E is three meters in length. From E to C is three meters in length. What does that tell you about about point E? Logan? Okay, but I'm asking from E, what does this tell us about point E, Travis? Yeah, okay, the same length. What would this be oh, called, sir. Carl? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's right. This point E is therefore a midpoint. Okay? Because these distances are the same, we know point E is a midpoint. So I'm going to just write that on the side because that will help us with a lot of our rules. With that being said, what does that tell us about point D? It is also a midpoint, right? Because the distances on both sides of D to the corners or the vertex of our triangles are the same. So point D is also a midpoint. So both of these are midpoints. That's really important. Okay? Because what we're going to try to do is figure out a whole bunch of information from here. So, with that being said, okay, this is the height from the base to a line connecting ED. Okay? I want to know what the distance is from D to E. Who can tell me? Logan. Yep. Yep. That's right. So since you said the point from D to E is half the distance, just like we stated this rule here, because this is 6, therefore this is half of 6, which is what? That's right. 3 meters. So, before I even go any farther here, what type of triangle is this here? That's yeah, equilateral, right? We know that this triangle, this triangle here, all three sides are the same distance. That's great to know. Now, there's something else I want to find out. We know, what about this larger triangle? What type of triangle is this? It's also equilateral because these are midpoints. This is six, okay? So the larger triangle is also equilateral. So I'm going to use just some green lines, okay? Tell us about this. We know that the whole distances here are all six. That's great. So the height, I'm going to talk about the height of this triangle. The height of this triangle here, okay? And I'm going to measure it from A to the base. I need to figure out the height of this triangle. And what can I use to figure it out? So how would we know the height? Divide by 2? Divide what by 2? Oh, multiply what by 2? The 2.5. And how did you know that? Okay, it's because that's the midpoint line. So, we know that the height of a triangle is split in half by this midpoint line. So, if from here to here is 2.5, that must mean the entire height... Okay, is 5 meters. It's 2.5 times 2 is how we got our 5 meters. All right? Just like how we figured out our 3 meter over here, we took 6 and divided it by 2. That gave us our 3 meters. So I know that's getting very convoluted here. Now I have a question for you. With all that information being said, okay, what is the distance from B, and I'm going to call this point G, what would the distance of B to G B? How did you get 1.5? Because um, point B to D is 3 meters. Or two meters. Uh, meters. From where? Point B to D, you said? Yeah, it's um, 3 meters, and it looks like B to G is half of uh, B to D. Okay, you got the right answer, but you guessed. Does anyone know a rule that would help us here? Carl? If B to E equals yeah. 3 meters, yeah. both of them would have to be divided by 3. Okay. Equals 1.5. Okay, so this is what he's told us. And I'm going to redraw this triangle 
so that it makes more sense for us, all right? Because I know it's getting very convoluted over there. I'm not sure it's So, what Carl just said is this is three meters, and we know the entire base is six meters because. That means this point to this point is three meters. And we know this is an equilateral triangle. Remember, we used our double dashes here. That means this distance is equal to this distance. So how much distance do both of these cover all together? That's right. Together, they cover three because we know three is already being used. And the entire base is six. So the way we figured that out is I took the base of six and I subtracted the three from above to tell us how much space we had left with these two. So 6 minus 3 happens to be 3 meters. So that means between the two of these, there is 3 meters. Because they're equal, we divide them in half to find the difference. So we take 3 and we divide it by 2, and it gives us 1.5 meters. So we know the distance of each of these is 1.5. Now, there's one other rule I didn't talk about, and I would like to talk about here. OK? I didn't talk about it up here. The area of a triangle in reference to a median. If I have the entire area of this triangle, okay, it's actually split in half by a median. Okay, so that's very important. What that means is this area here is equal to this area here on this side. It's split in half by the median. So I'm going to tell you a number here. The area of this triangle happens to be 15 meters squared. Okay? So this triangle here uh, we'll go to this one. They're the same thing. This area is equal to 15 meters squared. I'm going to draw a median. Okay? The median is right here. We draw our line coming straight down from it. Okay. And I'm going to give it a letter. I'm going to call this Z. So A, B, Z. I'm calling this a specific triangle here. A, B, Z. What is the area of triangle A, B, Z? What is the area equal to? Using that rule. The rule I just told you above. Marco. 7.5. You just take the area of the larger triangle, and because the median is cutting it in half, we divide it by 2. So the area is 15 divided by 2, which is... 7.5, and it's technically meters squared, because it's area. 